Alright guys, quick announcement here before I get right into the video. I'm in round two of that commentator challenge. Thank you guys for voting me through. And I will be posting this on my Twitter as well. But make sure if you guys would like or if you guys like my stuff, go vote for me in this commentary challenge. My video was put out today. I'll have the link down below in the description. There will be two of them. You can either go to one of the people's links or go to both of them if you really love me. And just leave a comment on the video saying MW2Psychic. And whoever gets more comments saying like their name will win. So let's win this thing together, guys. Please go vote. Go click on the link in the description before or after you watch this video. And just put MW2 in the MW2 Psychic in the comments and we can win win this thing thanks guys now let's get right into it right into what we're talking about today and we are into the evolution versus creationism type deal and we're just going to start flat out right from the beginning right where it all started and come up with something that um evolutionists and all these other um <clears throat> i don't know other theories don't have any explanation for and that is how the earth started and how everything in the universe came to be now you might be like well there's a the big bang theory that that seems to be the most logical um theory out there the big bang theory there is um ma a bunch of mass and there's a big big like i don't know ball of energy i guess you could say and the energy got so great it almost like exploded and it shot all these particles out and there's different versions of this there's one where the stars were like the energy there was the stars and the sun and these were the energy and they shot out and the energy from these radiated like so much it ended up just making a big <laughs> like that basically and um there was just matter flying all over the sp all over space and the um rocks would collide with each other so hard that they would fuse together and that is how the earth was formed and then on those on the rocks and stuff there's um living materials or living particles and the energy from the heat energy and just the energy around after billions of years ended up forming life from the from the little living molecule and now there's a couple things that come in that i don't know there's a couple things i don't really understand how you can believe first off um, if this, there is no reference to billions of years old. There is nothing that scientists can reference with to say, oh yeah, this happened a billion years ago. That's an estimate, which doesn't bug me, which isn't that bad. There's, I'll bring this up again later, trust me, with some other stuff that have to do with billions. But billions of years ago, there was no one there. This is a complete hypothesis. No one actually saw what happened. There's really no facts for this. Now you guys might be like, well, yeah, because of the energy and all, because of the force of it and the gravity, um, it's pushing all other galaxies farther and farther away, which is happening. All right. And so you're saying, well, yeah, that makes sense. And also, um, I mean, it, the the heat and how hard they hit each other fusing together, that makes perfect sense. But now if this happened, how and how can... Here's a couple of things that it does not explain at all. And I want you guys that believe in any of these theories down below. I believe I'm the Christian. I believe in like God, there being God and him creating everything. I'll get into that a little later. But if you believe in these um, theories, put down what you believe down below and why some reasons why it could have happened about the Big Bang or about any, any of these other theories you guys have. And now what happens is, okay, first off, for the Big Bang, we'll get into this. That doesn't explain why, how there's water, how there's grass. How there's trees now maybe there was a bunch of living particles and one was for grass and one was for humans but how did water get there how did the mixture of oxygen and carbon dioxide if there was none of this in the air because there this was not just floating around before all there was was there was gravity and there was like the big kaboosh so somehow um hydrogen and oxygen got mixed together i don't think i said the right elements last time hydrogen and oxygen got mixed together somehow and he created water and now we've got these waters which is what the ocean is how did how did that happen that doesn't explain that doesn't explain any of the elements how did oxygen come about uh the big bang does not explain that unless the entire galaxy was filled with oxygen and um hydrogen which it obviously isn't. So that automatically disproves that fact because that's why astronauts have to wear helmets when they go up in space. There is, they can't breathe because there's no oxygen up there. There's oxygen on Earth, only on Earth. So how did, how did um, the oxygen get here and how did the water get created from that? And now if you even take a step farther back, 
how where did the stars that provided the heat energy come from it where did the sun come from and where did the rocks and where did the energy and where did the gravity come from where did those five things come from to actually make the big bang theory happen uh, this is all saying that there was always rocks in the air there was always um stars if you believe that part there's always the stars there's always gravity and there was always the heat obviously so where did the stars the gravity and the rocks all come from and the heat and the energy that's what it was and the energy where did all that stuff come from was that just up there forever how could that have been up there forever that doesn't there was just total darkness but f this i mean this is straight up mind boggling right here i mean just try to picture this there was always energy up there and always stars and always explosions like that if that's so why isn't why are there not more planets forming right now now there might be but why are there not more planets forming in this exact same way right now why did it only happen one time why did this only happen one time and also scientists cannot get together a they have tried and tried they cannot get to get together energy dense enough to actually make this happen so this would have been an unthinkable dense amount of energy causing this explosion to happen causing all the particles to fly through the air and hit each other but there's no explanation of where the energy heat where the stars and where the rocks and gravity especially where gravity came from how come there's only now gravity on earth there's only good gravity on earth you go out into space there's no gravity but but according to the Big Bang Theory, gravity was what pulled the rocks pieces together. So there had to have been gravity out there at this point in time to pull the rock pieces together. There's just no evidence or no um, explanation for how any of this happened. This would have been some crazy one-time deal where gravity was only there and where oxygen, carbon dioxide somehow managed to only come in the one planet of Earth. And this isn't happening anymore. It's just one-time deal where there was so much energy in the air. But still, there's no explanation for how the energy, gravity, I've said this 10 times already, rocks, stars, heat, how all that stuff got there. There's no evidence for this. But now you might be like, well, where's your evidence that there was a God in heaven for all of eternity? Well, I don't... I, this might just be my biased point of view, BS point of view, whatever you want to say. Air quotes, air quotes. But, um... This is kind of like just being like on Minecraft. Here, I don't even play this game, but on Minecraft, you're building your own little world, technically. Your own building, your own house, all that stuff. And there's almost like, well, there has to be someone up there that built the rocks. Maybe, here's another thought, maybe the Big Bang did happen, and that was how God created the Earth in the explosion, kind of like that. But God was up there, and God placed down the rocks, the energy, the gravity, and all that stuff to explode. There had to be something... Because nothing right now, here's another point. You go find me something. I will rethink, I'll have to come up with a whole new argument for this. If someone here can find something where all of a sudden five perfect things just randomly pop out of nowhere. Nothing at all. Like maybe you're looking outside and all of a sudden a, um, I don't know, a house popped out of the ground. Or a rock shot straight up out of the ground and exploded and formed a little planet in your own backyard or something. There is nothing that has ever happened. Or an animal. You've never seen an animal just pop up out of the ground out of absolutely nothing. Out in the middle of the desert or in the middle of your basement floor for that. You've never just seen an animal just pop up there. And there is no way. How would these rocks, gravity, all this stuff have been up in the air for eternity if nobody would have put that there? forever ago someone had to have placed that stuff there for that to even have happened so now the evidence for supporting god actually comes because there is no other explanation of what could have happened there is uh, i don't know it's kind of it's hard to explain there is no evidence to support any other thing there is no p plausible cause for anything else to have happened except for there to be a higher being or god that put those things there that put this stuff there to make this happen if someone else, someone provide me with the evidence that's saying that there, that rocks, gravity, all that stuff was there forever, and that they somehow gravity only managed to come together in the Earth. Now, I mean, there is gravity. There's gravity that holds the Earth to the sun and makes everything in the rings and stuff. So there is other gravity, but the gravity is strongest on the Earth. The Earth got put in the exact perfect distance, perfect distance from the sun and other planets, with the perfect amount of water, land. Um, the carbon, the stuff in the air, life, how all that happened with, without a, just a big bang. So that's my argument for right now. I'll see you guys later. Adios.